I knew that Jane was a true friend when, as a gift, he gave me a man groomer. <laughs> with an extendable arm back saver. I used this. I, I used this in preparation for tonight. I want to inspect his grief. That's what a true friend could be so thoughtful, considerate, and honest about your fault. <laughs> in our group of guy friends, we express our affection by ruthlessly making fun of each other. Tonight, I get to make. I get to show a little affection for Jay. <laughs> I remember a few summers ago when I visited Jay in Pittsburgh, he was still settling in and he didn't know many people. He was a bit lonely without his old pals and family. Like typical women, we talked over ice cream about how Jay thought he would never find a spouse in Pittsburgh. <laughs> At that time, me and the guys thought that no one would ever accept Jay for who he is. <laughs> and we'd have to do a major crisis intervention around age 48 to overhaul his personality to make him more suitable to women. <laughs> Fast forward to the era of Amy, as I like to call it. Here are some select quotes from a March 2008 conversation I had with Jay. The first conversation he and I ever had about Amy. We just took bites of each other's food, like it was... <laughs> we just took bites of each other's food like it was family. To me, that is sort of cool because that says a lot about how comfortable you are with someone. Apparently, making jokes like normal does the trick with this one. <laughs> and I'm just going to see this white around a bit. My only complaint so far is that she's a texter rather, rather than a talker on the phone. <laughs>
So Andy, you have been at other. <laughs> it's the kind of hug you want to feel from your wife. It's the kind of hug you want your wife to give your mother, your father, your sisters, your friends, your aunts, your uncles, your grandmother, and even someday your own children. Jay, I'm sorry for ever doubting your decision. Before meeting the bride and being, she is without question the right choice. Jay and I have, have a great group of guy friends. I'm speaking mostly to the guys in the room. Do you know when your buddy marries a girl that's just not acceptable? None of your guy friends can stand her. I'm sure you are nervously looking around right now. <laughs> <laughs> we aren't going to have that problem with Amy. She fits into our group, guys, as though she was a member from the beginning. Amy is a blessing to us and to Jay. She understands our humor. She loves us with as much warmth as she loves her own friends. And I think I speak for all the guys when I say that we return that love. She fits in so well with the crazy, fun, lighthearted Eisenhower family that if you, didn't, if you didn't know their last names, you might think that Jay is marrying into the Eisenhower family today, <laughs> rather than Amy. About six months ago, my mother was lecturing me on her hope that I would get married someday. <laughs> I asked her to name one married couple that is not miserable together. She promptly said, Jason and Amy. So six months ago, they weren't married, but here's hoping that my mother is as good a fortune teller as she is a mother. Now, I know I speak for all the groups, and when I say, Jay, that you're a once-in-a-lifetime kind of friend, I know that we'll be the closest of friends for our entire lives. You're the kind of friend that I want at my side in fight or in any sort of situation. Good times, bad times, anything. We all love you. I hope that everyone in this room has already or will someday be a person to build a love as sincere as the one we witnessed today between Jason and Amy. Some could wander the earth for a thousand years before finding a love as strong as the one that you have here. I love you both and know your best day is stretched before you. Thanks.